everyone, I'm Hannah Chalker and welcome to the Southland Spotlight. The 2013 Senior Bowl kicks off this weekend in Mobile, Alabama. The prestigious event features the country's best senior football stars and top NFL draft prospects. And keep your eye out for Southeastern Louisiana defensive back Robert Alford. He'll be representing the league on the South team. At 6 feet, 185 pounds, Alfred has the size that NFL teams are looking for at the cornerback position. With tremendous speed and playmaking ability, Alfred could go as high as the second round in this year's NFL draft, according to several analysts. Once Alfred is selected for the pros, he will be Southeastern's first draft pick since the school resumed football in 2003. Alfred recorded 39 tackles on the season while leading the team with four interceptions. Alfred also tallied five tackles for loss and led the Lions with 12 passes defended. With those kind of stats, the SLU football standout earned many postseason honors. Alfred was named to the Sports Network and Associated Press FCS All-American football teams, the Buck Buchanan Award list, and earned first team All-Southland Conference honors. If he can prove himself this weekend, look for Robert Alford's name to be called early. Kickoff for the 2013 Senior Bowl is set for this Saturday, and you can watch the game live at 3.30 p.m. Central on the NFL Network. Let's also honor the Southland Conference Men's Basketball Player of the Week. Oil Roberts center Damon Bell Holter earned the award. Bell Holter scored 27 points and grabbed 13 rebounds in a 64-52 win over Texas A&M Corpus Christi. He also poured in 13 points to go with 6 rebounds and 4 blocks in a 65-61 overtime win at Sam Houston State. ORU is now 10-8 overall and 5-1 and in league play. The only team ahead of them in the conference is Stephen F. Austin. The Lumberjacks are one of just six Division I teams that have just a single loss. SFA will be tested again this weekend when they hit the road to face Northwestern State. And this will be no easy task. SFA, with the nation's top scoring defense, will have to stop the Demons' top scoring offense. I think at this point in time, even though we're 7-0, we can't think that we're, hey, we're way ahead of everybody. There's just too many games to play. I've, you know, there's 18 conference games. We're not even at the halfway point yet. Northwestern will also have some momentum coming off a big win. Coach Mike McConaughey and his squad bounced back from last Thursday's loss to Nichols with a dominating performance against SLU. Kids came in focused. They did all the things that are necessary for us to be successful. And, uh, you know, I mean, my hat's off to them for competing the way they did because Southeastern's a very good team, very, very talented. Um, you know, we just we just were a much better day, team today than we were on Thursday. We knocked down a lot of shots that we didn't knock down against Nickel State. We came in the same game plan that we did against Nickel State. Uh, we didn't try to change anything. Confidence was the key tonight. Tip off for Stephen F. Austin versus Northwestern State is set for Saturday at 3 p.m. Central. Before Saturday's action picks up, there are two basketball games tonight. Lamar will play Oral Roberts in a men's and women's doubleheader on ESPN3. The women's game will feature two of the top teams in the conference. Lamar is tied for the lead, while the Golden Eagles are just a game back. Central Arkansas Lamar and Sam Houston State are all tied for first in the league with records of 5-1. and one. SHSU is responsible for both Lamar and UCA's conference losses, giving the Lady Bearcats the early tiebreaker advantage. Sam Houston's Sequina Thomas earned this week's Player of the Week honors after setting the school's rebounding mark in the game against UCA. Thomas has 990 career rebounds and also has the school record in both career double-doubles at 44 and blocks with 190. That three-way tie shouldn't last long. Lamar and UCA will face off this Saturday in Conway. The Sugar Bears own the nation's third longest home winning streak at 22 games and they have won their last 13 conference games in the Ferris Center. Let's take a quick look around the rest of the Southland and women's tennis. McNeese State was the only conference school to pick up a victory after defeating Jackson State 5-2. On the men's side, New Orleans won its Southland Conference debut. The Privateers defeated Oral Roberts with a convincing 7-0 victory. UNO is an affiliate member in this men's tennis season before becoming a full Southland member starting in July. And in track and field, six SLC schools participated at the McNeese Indoor Invitational. Northwestern State impressed by planning five first place finishes. Southeastern Louisiana also claimed four victories. Nichols State had three individual winners. And Lamar won both the men's and women's mile run title. For more information on all of the Southland athletes, just go to southland.org. 
stay connected. All year we'll be covering the latest conference news right here on the Southland Digital Network. Get updates everywhere you go by downloading the Southland Conference app for iPhone, Android, and tablet. And remember to catch Lamar versus Oral Roberts in a women's and men's basketball doubleheader on ESPN3 Thursday night. I'm Hannah Chalker. Thanks for joining me on the Southland Spotlight.